And we start with the biggest threat uh, to our planet. It's bigger than everything else we talked about today. And this is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence wants to replace living creatures with technology. And therefore they uh, say also that everything must be connected to the cloud. All the human brains hooked up with a computer brain interface to a hive mind, a hive cloud, and uh, the computer uh, managing all this information must be a scalar wave computer because with scalar waves you have at least one dimension more to put all the human brains hooked up with a computer brain interface. And, uh, and this is something really horrible. The mainstream media is saying it is future, it will come. No, <laughs> it has been here since long time ago. And uh, the modern computer games are also dangerous because they can open portals to the fourth dimension. Uh, a computer virus in the universe, in the multiverse. A bridge has been created between physical reality and virtual reality and human intelligence and artificial intelligence. What is real and what is fiction are seamlessly blended together so that there is no clear distinction between where one ends and the other begins. A continuous link between the human brain and a neural processing unit allows an individual's consciousness to be emulated on a neuromorphic chip. It allows the co-mingling of physical reality with virtual reality and human intelligence with artificial intelligence. The unique resonance frequency of a targeted individual's DNA is used to create a link between the human mind and a neural processing unit. This creates a bridge between the physical world and the virtual world allowing virtual agents to identify, track, monitor, and manipulate a targeted individual. The neural processor wirelessly links to the human brain using the resonance frequency of a targeted individual's DNA. It is composed of an oscillator that is attached to an antenna and a receiver. The oscillator is designed so that it can write, erase multiple resonance states. Researchers have now demonstrated that consciousness is created in the microtubules when they respond to energy signals from the external and internal environment. The microtubules create a magnetic scalar wave that interacts with the DNA in the mitochondria of the cell. Modern mind control is using scalar waves. This is a special kind of waves in physics which has been kept secret since more than 100 years. And the scalar waves can either adapt to the DNA of every person, therefore in Sweden since the 70s, every newborn baby has to give its blood to a blood bank. So if you get inconvenient, they take your blood, and then they, they, they beam it with, with uh, uh, scalar waves because the blood has the DNA and the DNA is an antenna for scalar waves, being able to receive scalar waves or to emit scalar waves. That is very important that our DNA is an, an antenna. The, 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 most of the doctors don't know that. All matter in the universe resonates. All matter is animated by sound. And as a result, there is a frequency that is um, able to be measured that measures the rate of vibration, for lack of a better term, of the DNA itself, of the human mind, and of course of the human body, and indeed every, everything else in nature. It is by understanding uh, the individual resonant frequency of the individual's DNA and the individual resonant frequency of an individual's mind that this, techni this technology is able to be fine-tuned to an individual. In an internal memo dated December 20, 2019, Pentagon leadership urged military personnel not to take DNA tests, warning that they create security risks and could negatively affect service members' careers. The memo noted that the tests could potentially create unintended security consequences and increase the risk to the joint force and mission. The memo specifically mentioned using the DNA for mass surveillance and for the tracking of individuals without their awareness as a top concern. This memo seems to substantiate whistleblower and former private security industry specialist, Brian Coffrens claims that the resonant frequency of the DNA is used to monitor, track, and control the minds of targeted individuals. It's total not only mind control, it's total human being control. And it is the essential element 
that allows them to manipulate your emotions so totally and completely, to manipulate your thoughts so totally and completely, to manipulate everything you do and see and hear and think and feel every single minute of every single day so totally and completely. The new model regards DNA as a stable waveform of information that is not primarily acting through the molecular chemistry and composition, but through the oscillations and coherent acoustic and electromagnetic fields that the atoms and molecules create. There exists a complex interference pattern at the cellular and subcellular level produced on the one hand by the mechanical or elastic vibrations of the atoms and molecules in the liquid crystal hydrogel environment, which would entail Fröhlich-like wave patterns of phonons within the tiny tubes and cavities of the cell organelles, such as the microtubules, the mitochondria, the electric dipole lipid membranes or in the geometry of the DNA macromolecule itself. DNA has a unique property in that its frequency cannot easily be changed by external noise. The frequency penetrates any material that does not match its frequency. Even under massive noise, these resonance frequencies act as an attractor during synchronization, when the system is dragged away. It is the supercoil structure of the DNA that allows this dynamic process to take place. This basic natural property pulls the system back to the particular frequency state. An implication is that ultimately DNA could be transferred or transported, let us say teleported, immaterially and non-locally as a light or laser modulation. This could be defined as a form of entanglement of the biological atoms with the background field, thus manifesting as a non-local, namely literally not there, phenomenon. In terms of physics, of course, this requires the existence of some kind of vacuum field, something that was decried for a long time, but is now established as the concept of the zero-point fluctuations that quantum field theory embraces. In quantum field theory the manifestation of energy comes from the quantum vacuum, sometimes referred to as a universal scalar wave, which is a form of electrostatic energy. Scalar waves are produced when two electromagnetic waves of the same frequency are exactly out of phase, opposite to each other, and the amplitudes subtract and cancel or destroy each other. The result is not exactly an annihilation of magnetic fields but a transformation of energy back into a scalar wave. This scalar field has reverted back to a vacuum state of potentiality. Scalar waves can be created by wrapping electrical wires around a figure 8 in the shape of a Mobius coil. When an electric current flows through the wires in opposite directions, the opposing electromagnetic fields from the two wires cancel each other and create a scalar wave. And, uh, uh, as I earlier told uh, about standing waves uh, um, and resonance, it is very important to know for our mind control research to, to, to get rid of it. What resonance needs, it, it needs uh, the same type of waves, uh, also longitudinal scalar waves, it, in the same frequency and amplitude, but 100 degrees uh, in a phase difference, and, and then you, you build up a resonance with a standing wave. And this they do when they do mind control, so, so there we know the theories about it, that two waves going so and meeting, or you can have one so and from the opposite side go against. Uh, this is also possible to, to, to structure something or, and, and manifest things with that. And they, they call it phased array. Um, and um, there's one radar in the world which have, which have three phases. Also usually the radar has two, but there's one uh, uh, that has three, and this is very close to Whitby where Simon Parks lives. I have looked on it, he was invited to it. It's uh, driven by the NSA, it's over the horizon uh, radar. 
and the other things when, when they come together is phase conjugation. Scalar waves can build up a standing resonance, a resonance circuit between the target and the perpetrator. Often it is Mossad controlling in the Western world the mind control technology. In the Eastern world it is the FSB, the Russian secret service. The problem is the scalar waves have closed field lines and that means our usual devices we buy to scan electromagnetic waves are not working any longer. And we have up today not been able to get scanning devices for scalar waves. Of course, the dark side have them. I have been told in Germany the Stasi have them and they had them from Russia. But we have not been able to come over. So if you here uh, in, 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 in Czechs Czechian, you, you had more closer contact to the KGB and so on. If there are perhaps some guys uh, having an, an old device, um, uh, scanning scalar waves, we would be very grateful uh, to, to get access to that.